Hi, welcome to SCW, the wrestling channel here on youtube.com. Thank you for choosing the channel and choosing the video. Please subscribe right now. Leave any comments in the comment section. Let's talk wrestling. I love to talk wrestling with you guys. Like and share the video and also hit the bell on top. Keep up to date with all videos as and when they are posted. WrestleMania 33 update for you now. Is Conor McGregor going to be there? What is the rock status for the event? As well as this, HBK's asked to wrestle AJ Styles. Going to give you some details on that. And who is going to be involved in the SmackDown Women's Championship match? First off, we'll start with Conor McGregor. Now, he has told Fox, uh, Fox Sports back in January that he was in talks with WWE about a potential appearance at the WrestleMania 33 event. It goes on to say, never say never. I know there's been conversations. I know Triple H was at the UFC 205 show. I'd love to go to that WWE and have a real knock. Let one of them have a real knock and let's see what's what. We'll see. There's conversations ongoing. I've turned down some things. Conversations are still ongoing. Now, there is no update to that story, but of course, it means that uh, there is potentially an outside chance we could see Conor McGregor at WWE's WrestleMania 33. And what capacity would you like to see him involved with? It'd have to be a main event player, wouldn't it? I mean, personally for me, if I was to see Conor McGregor involved at all, maybe in a mouth-to-mouth -mouth, uh, confrontation, because he's not going to be physical at this sort of event, there's only one person you could see him going, you know, face-to-face -face on the mic with, and of course, that would be The Rock. Now, what are the chances of The Rock being at WrestleMania? Well, according to Dave Meltzer, when asked about The Rock's status for WrestleMania, 33. Um, he's actually said that uh, The Rock will be out promoting the new Fast and Furious movie. The last he heard, it was going to be difficult for The Rock to appear at the event. Now, Meltzer also pointed out that The Rock has said this in previous years, but still end up appearing at WrestleMania on the day of the show. Now, WWE and The Rock were putting feelers out a couple of months back, hinting that he would be at the show, but has since stopped putting those feelers out. The belief is that it would be kind of difficult for The Rock to make the show. Now, it would be a major disappointment, but it is in Florida, which, of course, that's where The Rock is actually from, his hometown. I think there is a chance that Rock will be at WrestleMania this year. I, I personally feel he's going to be there in some capacity. A promo, maybe with the New Day, maybe that's where Conor McGregor would be involved as well if uh, this was happening. Of course, the New Day are the hosts of WrestleMania and they're probably going to do quite a few comedy segments throughout the show. Now, uh, while speaking there with Sam Roberts, Shawn Michaels revealed that he was approached by WWE about him doing a match of AJ Styles at the WrestleMania 33 event, but he turned it down. Now, uh, Shawn went on to say that I could have had that match. They did not have an opponent for AJ at WrestleMania. Uh, uh, I wish that that young man was here 10 years ago. I really do. I think he's really talented. But then he did say that he thinks AJ will have a decent match with Shane McMahon at WrestleMania. So, um, it, unfortunately, Sean not going to be at the event. Um, of course, Sean has always said that he was going to stick to the retirement stipulation that went with The Undertaker, unlike many others who have always come back after that retirement match when we've seen you know, the likes of Ric Flair and Mick Foley come back in the ring. And I think it keeps real credibility when you stick to it. And personally for me, i said a million times before, would I love to see the match of Shawn Michaels and AJ Styles god yes I would it may be one of the exceptions to the time when I normally say this rule but still I believe that we should be pushing the younger guys how are we ever going to get the talent we have today over if we don't put them over the old guys that have been there before and if their spots keep getting taken at Wrestlemania by these part timers they're never going to be seen as a big deal and in about five years time from now when all these part timers are no longer going to be in the ring in any fashion at all whatsoever at WrestleMania, what is going to happen to the WWE product because they're not pushing enough new stars. So for me personally, as much as it would have been great if AJ Styles had had this match and perhaps gone over and would have loved to have seen it, I do think in one way it's better we do see the stars of today. But then again, we're seeing Shane McMahon in its place. And although I must admit, I am enjoying the storytelling of this going into Mania, I still would prefer to see AJ Styles against someone else, maybe Shinsuke Nakamura at WrestleMania. Last but certainly not least, then we'll look at the SmackDown Women's Championship match. And the Wrestling Observer newsletter has reported the company is trying to keep the stipulation and the participants in the match a secret. The graphics currently show Alexa Bliss defending the belt against Mickey James, Carmella, Natalia, and Becky Lynch. Others are expected to be involved in the match, so that's not going to be only five in there. Other names include, of course, Naomi. I do expect her to be back. I reckon this is why this has been done. Um, Summer Rae is a potential name that's been thrown out there. Tamina and Eva Marie as well. Now, there is a possibility that some female superstars from the past could be involved as well. I remember WWE have contacted several former WWE superstars, female superstars, a while back uh, about them actually appearing at the event. Rumor names include Kelly Kelly, who we believe is meant to have signed, Lita, Victoria, and of course Maria Canellis, because she is no longer involved with Impact Wrestling. Now, I'm happy seeing all those names involved. Now, personally for me, I would like to see Alexa Bliss retain at WrestleMania. My expectation right now is that Naomi will come back and she will get the hometown glory and win the belt 
at WrestleMania 33, and I do expect it to happen on the main card as well, not on the pre-show. So that's everything for me in one huge update there for you for news stories. Let me know your feelings right now in the comments section. Are you looking forward to WrestleMania 33 itself? Um, you can keep up to date with the channel as and when. I'll be posting more videos as we go in towards WrestleMania week, including my predictions and, of course, how I would book some of the WrestleMania matches as well. Uh, as well as this, you can check on the screen, probably coming up around about now, other videos you can be checking on the channel. Subscribe to the channel, like and share the video, Let's Talk Wrestling. You've been watching SCW, the wrestling channel, here on youtube.com. Thank you for watching, as always.